For Zion, I shall not be still, and for Jerusalem, I shall not rest, till the just man thereof go out as shining, and the Savior thereof tended as a lamp. And heathen men shall see thy just man, and all kings shall thy, see thy noble man. A new name, which the mouth of the Lord named, shall be called to thee. And thou shalt be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a diadem of the realm in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt no more be called forsaken, and thy land shall no more be called desolate, but thou shalt be called my will in that, and thy land that that shall be inhabited. For it pleased the Lord in thee, and thy land shall be inhabited. For a young man shall dwell with a virgin, and thy son shall dwell in thee, and a spouse shall have joy on the spouses, and thy God shall have joy on thee. Jerusalem, I have ordained keepers on thy walls. All day and not all night, without end, they shall not be still. Ye that think on the Lord, be not still. And give ye not silence to him, till he establish, until he set Jerusalem praising in earth. The Lord swore in his right hand, and in the arm of his strength, I shall no more give thy wheat to be meat to thine enemies. An alien son shall not drink thy wine, in which thou hast travailed. For they that shall gather it together shall eat it, and shall praise the Lord. And they that bear it together shall drink in mine holy foreyards. Pass ye, pass ye by the gates. Make ye ready a way to the people. Make ye a plain path, and choose ye stones, and raise ye a sign to the peoples. Lo, the Lord made heard in the last parts of the earth. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Lo, thy Savior cometh. Lo, his meat is with him, and his work is before him. And they shall call them thy holy people, again bought of the Lord. Forsooth thou shalt be called a city sought, and not forsaken.